Over the last 75 years, Whitefish Mountain Resort has grown and changed. I talked to Gary Cabell, who began as a ski patroller on Big Mountain in 1980, to learn what the mountain was like back then and hear about his journey to get back on the slopes. Slow lifts, you know, they're old and slow. A lot less people, a lot less people in Whitefish, of course. It was a small group of locals, we all skied together. Cabell moved to Whitefish in 1976 and started working as a snowcat driver, but after being denied a nickel raise, he went to work at the bars downtown. Although he continued to ski and work, it wasn't quite enough time on the mountain, so he applied to be a ski patroller. It's a funny thing, you think, oh, ski patrol, all you're going to do is ski, but there's so much other things that we were responsible for, you know. Cabell worked as a ski patroller until 1986 and then continued to work at restaurants on the mountain and in town to support himself. He was still skiing up until about six years ago and watched the mountain transform. It was still just starting to get new school when I was skiing, you know, the lifts, the detachable quads, and that was quite a change. After retiring, he still lives outside of Whitefish in a cabin with no running water. After an unfortunate back problem, he could no longer haul water or ski. So the community came together for this legend and is helping fundraise to get a well put on his property. The plumber, I've known him since he was a little guy because he was a racer on the mountain. And when I was ski patrolman, I met him. Even though he's still recovering from his back surgery, Cabell is determined to get back on the mountain and ski the resort he shares a birthday with. I'll be back on one of these days. I told myself that. Be 75. <laughs> In Whitefish, Kiana Wilson, MTN News.